The links between race, obesity, and athleticism are complex and influenced by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Some studies suggest that individuals of African descent may have a higher propensity for insulin resistance, which can contribute to obesity. This thrifty gene hypothesis suggests that populations with a history of food scarcity may have evolved genes that promote fat storage, making them more susceptible to obesity in modern environments with abundant food. African Americans and Hispanic populations tend to have lower basal metabolic rates than European populations, which can contribute to weight gain. Some East Asian populations may have a genetic advantage in glucose metabolism, leading to lower obesity rates despite high-carb diets. Populations of West African descent are often found to have a higher proportion of fast-twitch muscle fibers, which are advantageous in sprinting and explosive sports, that's why many elite sprinters are of West African ancestry. For this video, I decided to focus on the genetic predisposition of world populations to athleticism and obesity. For obesity, I picked out three SNPS within the FTO gene, one of the genes most strongly linked to obesity predisposition. I also picked out four SNPS related to athletic ability, the most impactful of which is the ACTN3R577X polymorphism. I built a matrix on the basis of allele frequencies in 20 populations, using data from DBSNP and Alfred to find the allele frequencies for the 7 SNPS I chose for the analysis. In some cases, there wasn't data available on certain populations I chose for the analysis, and then I used an imputation method to fill in the missing data. I chose the allele frequency in the population most similar to the target and filled that in for the target. For example, for Samaritans, I used Ashkenazi Jews, for Bedouins I used Middle Eastern populations, for San and Sanda I used Sub-Saharan African populations. Most of the SNPS required imputation. I projected the dataset on a 2D PCA and weighted the anchors by the magnitude of the SNP or alternatively its odds ratio as mentioned on Sympedia. I did this to put more emphasis on SNPS which have a greater impact and more research behind them. For those SNPS where I couldn't find the odds ratio or magnitude, I left the scaling factor at 1, which is low and reflects the relative unreliability of the SNP for athletic prediction. At first, I scaled only the anchors, but not the populations. This resulted in a chart where all populations are closest to the non-obese non-athletic anchor. This happened because the allele frequencies ranged from 0 to 1, while the anchors ranged from 0 to 2.2, with zero representing low athleticism and low obesity predisposition. Then, I changed my methodology and scaled both the anchors and the populations. Here is the dataset with scaled anchors and populations. After projecting that on a 2D PCA, I observed the following. There were populations closer to the athletic and obese group than unathletic and non-obese group, those populations being various sub-Saharan Africans. Here are the populations closest to the athletic anchors. East Asians, Sandaw, Europeans, San, and Banta turned out the most athletic. Here are the populations closest to the unathletic anchors. Native Americans and East Asians turned out to be the least athletic. Mind you, this analysis was based on only 7 SNPS, whereas in reality there are probably dozens if not hundreds of SNPS linked to athleticism and obesity. These variations, however, are the most researched and well-known by the scientific community. So, what do you think? Is this research valid as a method of predicting athletic ability among the different human populations? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.